Welcome to Living Local. I'm Gail Kivistad, your guide, and we're out here in Limonera, Lemon Lands. And we're going to meet Alex Teague, his great-great-grandfather and great-great-great-uncle and pioneers in the lemon business and helped to establish California as the largest citrus producer over a hundred years ago. His family planted these trees. Let's go meet him. Hello, Hello. Alex. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well. And it's Excellent. a pleasure to be out here in Limonera. Beautiful day, isn't it? Oh, it is. And now you really grew up here, didn't you? I did, yeah. yeah. Born and raised in the citrus game. And uh, since I was 12 and wanted a new swim bicycle, here's a hoe, go hoe weeds. Well, that's an incentive, isn't it? And mm. this company, having been here 128 years, we're standing in the fields and on soil that your relatives actually planted. That's correct. Actually, where we're standing right now is the original 413 acres that were purchased. And this was one of the first blocks that was planted to lemons uh, in 1893. Okay, so why lemons? How did they know to do lemons? Yeah, so the other co-founder with Wallace Hodgson was Nathan Blanchard. And is really, he was the steadier and the traveler of the group. And he, at that time, 95% of the lemons came in from Italy. Given the Mediterranean beautiful climate in Ventura, you could plant a lemon just like they have in Italy, particularly southern Italy, and it should grow the same. And that's what he did. So he imported some lemon rootstock, planted it, and this was his first project. And he brought Wallace Hodgson, who was a wildcat oil guy, and they got together and they bought this, and that's what they started. And here it is, our own little Italy. That's right. It's actually, uh, the name came from Portuguese, it right? Did. Now tell us about that. It did. So uh, Blanchard was a traveler and a very educated man. And so everything else around here had a Spanish derivative. Right. And so he wanted just a little bit of try change on that. So he decided Limonera, which is lemon lands in Portuguese. Oh, and this is lemon lands. And we're yes, so thankful to your ancestors. So they had to bring people in and to attract people we were one of the first companies, if not the first, to give employee housing. And uh, even now we have fourth and uh, could be pretty close to fifth generation workers out here, not just those of us that, that through family connection. Well, let's uh, travel along a little bit down the road of history and go to your visitor center. Now, this is really cool. So this building was originally uh, the country store the good old country store, because at one time we had pretty close to 1,500 people. And when you have 1,500 people, you got a lot of needs, right? Daily oh, needs. Wow. It's not like they had Amazon delivery back in 1893. And, you know, town, which is only four miles away now, that was a long ways back in the day. How would you get there? By horse? Yeah, by horse, of course. Of course. Wow, of course. So, by of, horse. Course, of course. Of course. But what we would have here is they'd have basically all your needs, everything from boots. I mean, you can see it actually back on a the picture there boots, milk, eggs, your daily goods, flour, sugar, the whole thing that you would find at your corner market. They would have it here and it's quite active. So, in addition to doing lemons, you are a market and a store. Oh, absolutely. You've got to take everything. care of the people. You always have to take care of the people. And the company truly is just as much about the employees here as it is about the founding people and the founding families that do it. So this okay. is the original boardroom table. It That's says correct. from the 1890s. It was. This table. Remember, when you start with bare land, you don't have any cash flow. So they had to do different row crops. They had to do, we've counted up over 160 items that have been growing on these lands over the last 128 years. So you had a lot of discussion on who's going to contribute what money and what value among the men behind us. Uh, both my great-great-grandfather uh, -grandfa great -great and great-grandfather are in this book. Let's take a look up sure. here at these gentlemen. So Wallace Hardison here, he was, we mentioned he's the oil cat. Uh, he was an interesting fellow, uh, quite, a, quite a character as I understand it. And, uh, he tried uh, many different things. If you can imagine, uh, he started Union 76, which was 76 right. Independent Oil Drill. And along with Nathan Weston Blanchard, yes. who's really the, 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 the founder, the of, founder of, of it, he was the mind thinker. Two different, complete different personalities. Really? A very educated introvert, uh, for the most part, but not too introvert, but I just mean he was a studier. Uh, 
probably did not visit the bar very often. No. The other side was the oil catter. And he so was at had, the bar quite he often. He was. So <laughs> as they started, uh, Mr. Blanchard was elderly, so he really couldn't do a lot of work. And so uh, Wallace uh, had a suggestion that he had a nephew in Kansas farming potatoes. He didn't have a dime to his name. And so he called his nephew, Charles Collins Teague, which is my great grandfather, uh, out to start doing work here. He was 23 when he arrived. 23 years old, and he came out here on a whim. Uh, somewhere around uh, eight, 1897, CC had moved up to being general manager of the Luminera Company at a young age. And Hardison, who had a number of children, but he had to go explore. And so he took Wonderlust. His, he called him on a, on a Sunday evening. He says, you're now in charge. In fact, I think some of the smartest things CC did was he discovered Charles McEvitt had two unmarried daughters. So he married one of those daughters. And kept Smart it all business plan. in the family. Yeah. And that was your great grandmother. Yeah, great, great. Great, great grandmother. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, the Edwards family came in the gold rush and found gold in Northern California. And they came down and settled in a grocery store, a general merchandise store in Santa Barbara, two brothers. And Samuel Edwards was one of those. And that's our CEO, Harold Edwards, great, great grandfather as well. And so you both have come from this family tradition. Right. And both of you working here together now. We are. We both went working other, other places in the world, but came back to, to, to take Luminera from a great tradition to the international company that we are now and continue to grow in that direction. And congratulations on doing such a great job. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yes. And thank you. Yeah. Well, stay tuned for more Living Local.